Feels like it's been years since there's been a high school track and field meet in Butte. Well, that's because it has. But now it's a glorious Friday afternoon, fitting weather for the sports return to the mining city as Butte High, Butte Central, and Kalispell Glacier battle it out. Let's get to those highlights. First up, the boys 1600, and we've got a battle between two Ethans as Glacier's Ethan Strand and Butte's Ethan Rublevsky jockey for position on the final stretch. But Strand holds on for the win, clocking a time of 5 minutes and 5.16 seconds. He beats Rublevsky by less than a second. Now on to the girls 1600. A tight pack to start, but there's not going to be much suspense on the final lap. Glacier's Isabella Lane separates and wins with a time of 6 minutes and 23 seconds. The Wolfpack finishes 1, 2, 3, 4 in that event. Over to the boys 4x100 and it's Butte's Zach Merrifield turning on the afterburners on the anchor leg. The Bulldogs D team wins by over a second with a time of 43.74. Another relay, this time the girls 400. Butte's Molly Conlon and Butte Central Zella Mudry finished first and second in the 100 and again find themselves coming down to the wire. But Conlon keeps some cushion and the Bulldogs take first at 53.07 seconds. Now over to the high jump pit where we've got a battle brewing. Butte Central's Kyle Holter clears 5'10 and he's feeling it. Butte High's Dylan Snyder up and he sails over. Now it's Glacier Xavier Stout. He clears the bar and then bolts back over to the track where he goes on to win the 453.13 seconds. But the high jump event is ultimately won by Snyder with a height of 6 feet 2 inches. Now over to the girls 400 and it's Glacier's Noah Fincher crossing first with a time of 1 minute 4.76 seconds. The Butte boys and Glacier girls go on to win the team titles. Reporting in Butte, Luke Shelton, MTN Sports.